All right, these just went up for pre-order on Big Bad yesterday. And I walked in Toys R Us on accident today. I don't know, go figure. And these were on the shelf. The bad part is, is that I'm missing two of them. But I'm so fucking excited, we're gonna check them out anyway. That's not complete, but this is all I found, and this is all I'm going to review for right now until I get the other two. I'm still missing the uh, UK Spider Man and uh, 2099 Spider Man. So we're going to check these out. We're going to start right over here with this Black Spidey. All right, here's this Black Spidey. I mean, he, he's definitely he's he's good. I'm not going to say that he's not because he is a good toy. But did we need a Black Spidey? Um, I know I didn't, because I got plenty of those. So starting over here, an old Toy Biz one. I actually thought that one was decent. I mean, it's pretty hard to mess up a Black Spidey. You just basically take any one of your action figures, you spray paint them black, and then you put a little white on them. That one, I hate those shoulders on that one, so don't really care for that one that much. This one, I'm not real sure what's going on with this. He doesn't match the set. Maybe this is like a Marvel or a, a Marvel Select or something. Maybe this is just a weird toy biz. I don't know. But you see, like, he's almost kind of like pre posed. Uh, I'm not real sure uh, what that one is, but I definitely like that one. I love the movie Black Spidey, even though the movie sucked. And <clears throat> this one here is probably actually my favorite black spidey so I don't know the new ones pretty good alright we'll get a closer look at this he does come with these uh, interchangeable hands he comes with these fist hands I didn't really care for those I went with the uh, booby grabbing hands I think that's definitely a better hand for spidey or wall crawling whatever you want to do I mean they definitely kind of look like a booby grabbing hand to me but here he is it's just a black Marvel Legends action figure so it is a good one I don't like the hole on the back would have been nice if they would have filled it because he definitely doesn't need a backpack but that would be asking for way too much of Marvel Legends to do something like that something custom like that to actually fill a hole but I guess that's not gonna happen so either way here he is he's good just didn't need him that's why he's my least favorite figure in the set all right, let's check out this shocker. And this is just another shitty Marvel Legend repaint. Like this just looks like every other Marvel Legend toy that I got. Oh wait, they actually put some knee pads on it. So there you go, they sculpted some knee pads. And they use these amazing magic effects again, which totally don't work for this character. So here he is, come on man. This is this is just sad. So this is one that we got a long time ago, at least 10 years ago. Now this is the shocker. It's sculpted. Those aren't just painted on lines like this. It's actually sculpted. They went a little heavy on the wash for sure. And it would have been nice if they would have painted the lines. But at least this is like an original toy. Like this actually, look, they got the pants on there, sculpted on pants. And then you have these painted on pants, like, none of these lines are sculpted on there. It's just all paint, and that really sucks. This one, look at the eyes on this, and then these eyes. So if this is as good as you're going to do the toy, just don't even bother. Like, you already made a better toy. If you can't outdo a toy that you did 10 years ago, why embarrass yourself? Not that you need a close-up look at this toy because he doesn't look any better close-up. I'll just show you the back of him. Again, we have that same hole. Didn't need a hole on this one either. 
It doesn't look as bad as it does on the black Spidey because it's actually kind of dark there. <clears throat> the hands, take off this stupid shit off his hand. So they did do a little something there. I mean, that and the knee pads, and that's pretty much all you get. And then you got this one from 10 years ago. Now check this out. This is a toy, an action figure with an action. I know, that, that's a crazy thought, right? But this is what we got, and I think this toy was like 8 bucks. The new Shocker was 20 bucks. You wind this up, and he vibrates. Sorry, I tried to vibrate the phone, but let me do it to where you can actually see it. Like, see it vibrating? Or you hear it? So, it's the shocker. It's like shocking. That is an amazing toy. And it's half the price of this new toy. Not to mention, it's got these missiles, which I really didn't care for the missiles that much. Because they're missiles and it's supposed to be like bolts of, you know, to shock you. But, whatever. And these shoot. And they actually work. And they shoot pretty good. The back of this toy is also really nice. He doesn't have a hole in his back for no reason at all. The belt. Why bother? This toy is way better than the new toy. Don't remake it if you can't make a better toy. Alright, here's my favorite one in the set. This Miss Marvel. This is like a brand new toy. This did Now this is a good toy. This is what Marvel Legends is supposed to be like. It comes with interchangeable hands. Not like anybody's ever going to use these hands. When you got some stretch arms on there. like I mean the ones that are on here is definitely a better option. Makes the character stand out on your shelf. Has this cool little dress on it. These nice scarves. This, like, this actually looks like a one-off toy. This looks like a decent toy. So, this is why this is my favorite one in the set. Just because, I mean, they did a good job. I just wish they could do this more often. Alright, let's check out this Jackal. Now, this is my second favorite one in the set. And it's obvious why. Because it's a brand new toy. I don't know why all of these can't be a brand new toy. I know they say that they can't afford to, to make brand new toys every time. But Marvel Legends has the biggest distribution out of any action figure that I collect. So I don't know why they can't put a little bit more money in this line. So, I mean, this one I love. It's a brand new, you know they're going to repaint this blue. And they're going to call it the Beast and stick a new head on it. They'll probably even use the same little shorts. At least this one doesn't have a hole on its back and that makes it really nice. But... As for this, I'm glad that they finally did a 6 inch jackal. Really happy to have it. Great job on it. The hands are cool. The toenails are painted. Looks like it has a little love for, for the paint on there. Did a great job. I really like this toy. Okay, here's this green goblin. And I actually really like this toy. And I know that they just reused this toy a couple times, and we're going to go over that in a second. But they did a great job for detail on his Merce. They painted the buckle gold, and this little clip gold. So they really did a good job on that. I like the boots, the glider. I mean, no complaints. It's a great toy. Here's the issue, though. If you don't have a Green Goblin by now... Maybe you shouldn't be collecting action figures because they have been making these things forever. And he's not much better than the ones that you already have. This one's actually pretty good. This one is even better. You had to buy it twice because he came with a masthead and an unmasked head. And that is a definite must buy. I love the unmasked head to get him that way. Like really really nice option I couldn't say no to that also have the movie Green Goblin I thought that was decent at the time here he is on his glider that's pretty cool I like this one back here a lot too it has a pumpkin bomb 
Thought they did a pretty decent job on that one. Here's the Marvel Select one. It came with Peter Parker all tied up. That was definitely a cool touch. He's a little too big, but on his little uh, glider, you can't really tell. And then this one, which I can't stand at all. Don't, don't even know why I bought that. Let's do some comparisons. Okay, normally shit like this really bothers me. But in this case, it doesn't at all. Take this Dread Knight. New boot. Totally works. We put this little cloth over his package. That works. A cape. New head. New gloves. New belt. Like, that's like a totally different toy to me. I mean, yeah, you can tell that it's the same, but they changed enough on it to where it doesn't, I feel like I got my money's worth. Unlike most of Marvel Legends. And the Hobgoblin. Everybody knew that was the same. But a new glider, the cape, a new head, they painted his little Merce black. I mean, same pumpkin, but it's enough change to where that also looks like a different toy. A different belt on it. So when you do it like this, it's a lot better than that repainted crap that you normally give me. Okay, here's this Sandman, that I know, I'm missing the arms, but I'm working on that. And here's the Sandman that we just got. Now when we got this, we already knew this other one what was coming out, and I felt like I got ripped off instantly, because I got a ton of Sandman. And after seeing this thing, I'm actually thinking this is going to be pretty cool. I don't think it's going to be my favorite Sandman, because this one is, and the reason why this one is, is because it's pitted like sand and they don't do stuff like that anymore so this one is still really good this toy is also really good and then he also has a body for him that you can put him on so that's a great sandman this little shitty movie one that one's not bad either this one total dog shit build a figure but what are you gonna do but this thing comes with these extremely cool fists, like this cube fist, that's Sandman. This is how it's done. This is also Sandman, perfect. So when I get the new arms, these things are definitely going on there. And then he also comes with this head, which is the same head as this head, but it works. Like this doesn't bother me at all. I won't use this head. Because this battle damage head is a way better option. So I can't wait to get the arms for him. I actually think he's going to be a really cool figure. I was pissed that this was a Build-A-Figure because they just gave us this figure. But after it's together, man, I think he, he might be my favorite Sandman. Either way, that's my review. Thanks for watching.